Yeah, Roger, on that, dear, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's supposed to be that way tonight and tomorrow night, I think, there, uh, 1940. Hey, uh, crazy man, you hear that 1940 out there? Uh-oh, crazy man, he's gone already. Hey, no. Hey, 1940, he had a bunch of french fries in his mouth, Roger. Well, I don't know what happened tonight, Ranger, but I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, thing out there, old radio night on Friday. Oh, 3-3-2017, uh, hard to believe it's already March there, and... Uh, just beware the odds of March there, 1940. And for the odds of March. Yeah, Roger. Are you you retired now? Damn four. Damn four. Uh, I've been retired for a couple of years now. What used to be an airplane pilot? Oh, okay. Well, I'll be doggone. Mate. I tell you what, uh, <clears throat> you sure can get a lot of customers on this CB radio. And four. I say, now just sit back and listen sometime. I might take notes. Ah, yeah, Roger on that there. Yeah. Uh, only thing I know about psychiatry is uh, I helped build a psychiatric hospital downtown. The one that's down there, they added on to it that uh, serpentine building. I tell you what, I thought I was going to be the first one to be admitted to that place. Uh, it's constantly in a curve, and you know, we're running pipe down there, Butwell Pipe, and uh, we got a 22 and a half, a 45, and a 90. Uh, time you put a 22 and a half on there, it's up in the wall, so you got to custom miter your fittings and that's what takes so long you know and that thing was something else but uh i talked to a fella the other day and uh, the chillers that i hooked up down there they're the oldest ones that the medical university's got and they're still running there's two of them side by side damn four i tell you why i needed to put uh, a relative in one for a few days uh, Yeah, 10 4, yeah. Well, <clears throat> uh, only thing I know about it is uh, where it's at and where I used to, I worked down there in it. I used to do a lot of work at the Medical University down there for contract. The contract I worked for, they, they loved us down there, you know, and we got a lot of contracts. But uh, I don't know too much about, the, you know, how many there are or where they're at. Uh, I know they used to have one that was the famous one up in Columbia on Bull Street. And uh, that thing, I think they did away with that. They still got the buildings and all there. Uh, I actually went there one time on a field trip from uh, high school and went in that old building. But they don't use that, that anymore, I don't think. I don't think they do either. I tell you what, it's about retired and all of my work was in Florida and most of it was with the Department of Corrections. I was working with felons and I was spending my half of my time testifying in court. I hear you. Did you ever run across any Hannibal Lecters down there? You name it, I probably run across it. I hear you, yeah. I tell you, man, they, they got some in there. Yeah, that's one place that people uh, do a lot of things and all, but I tell you what, when they slam that door on you, that'll change your mind real quick. 
but uh, I guess until they go through it, they just get out there and beat people up and burn stuff up and do all kind of stuff and rob people. I just seen a bunch of them got caught tonight, breaking into cars and all like that, stealing and breaking in, and they're going to go to jail. Roger, Roger on that. Yeah, that Berkeley County cop that was retired, he's on, he got two crutches he's got to walk on and a oxygen tank and somebody was breaking into his house and he shot him in the leg when they was trying to come in and they trying to do something to him, make a big deal about it, but you know, the man's on crutches, he can't walk, he got an oxygen tank, somebody's breaking down his door and he shoots him in the leg he could have shot him in the daggum head, but they're making a big deal about it. I hope he, I hope he gets all, uh, you know, out of that. There, I sure do. Well, I tell you what, uh, if you will go to Swan's uh, website and just read the law pertaining to the castle doctrine, uh, once somebody breaks, and it extends to your automobile too. If somebody forces themselves in your car, or forces themselves in your house, all you've got to say is, I was dead to go hurt me. Right, right. But I tell you what, like, I've been through and worked with so many of them. I, I even did a workup on Bundy. If you remember, he was a, a fellow that went around the country killing girls. Oh yeah, Ted Bundy, yeah, they cut his head open to check his brain and all. Well, they wouldn't have seen too much because they fried him and that exposed the brain. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah, they uh, they did and uh, yeah, he was something else, man. I don't know, but he's weird. That's, uh, he looked, uh, I've seen a couple of videos of him and uh, the way he looked, his eyes and all, he looked weird looking, you know? Damn poor. He did that, but he, if he wanted to look another way, he could. Uh, but he made a mistake uh, going to a little town not too far from the present, a little town of Lake City, Florida. That's where he got caught. He killed a little girl over there and they caught him and that was the end of him. Right, right. Well, we had one here. You knew about him, Pee Wee Gaskin, right? Uh, how long ago was that then? That was in the 80, early 80, uh, 70s and all. He was running around killing people up in Prosperity and uh, up around Lake City up in there and he was around here too but if you uh, just check out Pee Wee Gaskins uh, he, he uh, they had him in prison for murder a bunch of people he'd kill them and bury them up there and uh, so he they, they abolished the death penalty for a while and then somebody that this guy killed that was his next door cellmate uh, <clears throat> they paid him $150 or $500 or whatever to kill that guy. So uh, Pee Wee got a, a radio and gave it to the black man and had a bomb inside of it. And, uh, and they, so the guy was holding it up to his head listening to it and Pee Wee was next door with a wire going through the vent and pushed a button and blew it up whenever they got in there the speaker was almost blown through the other guy's side the guy's head. I don't know about it, I tell you what. I, I have seen some bad ones. Uh, I remember when I was young and uh, first started working there, the first bad one I saw was stabbed in the back with a welding rod uh, and it was in his heart and the rod was still twitching. 
Oh no. Well, uh, 1940, do you have a handle or you just go by the number? Eagle Beak, okay, Eagle Beak. Well, anyway, good to hear you in there, man. What kind of radio are you uh, talking on, if you don't mind me asking? I don't mind. I want a Galaxy DX 2547. Roger on the 2547. I got you. Well, it's sounding good there. Sure is. And uh, good to hear you out there. Let me stand by and let that crazy man, he's in there. He probably will holler at you there, too. And, uh, there's a guy on John's Island that's uh, 987. He's out there on John's Island. Maybe you might be able to holler at him too. So I'm going to get on the side. Right on, you're still in there? Yeah, come on. Hey, go ahead, you're going to come. Hey, how's it going, 21? Hey! You just got a mouthful of ice there. What's going on, White Dog? Hey, not much, man. I didn't think anybody was going to be out here this evening. Well, we were off and on there. I'd been sick for a couple of weeks, you know. It hadn't felt like messing with it. Been real tired and uh, <clears throat> had a sinus infection and uh, whatever. I don't know. Still got some congestion, you know. I think it's mainly uh, allergy right now, but that other wasn't no allergy. And just trying to make it work every day and then go again. I just didn't feel like coming out here and doing a bunch of stuff and when I could lay down in bed and rest, you know. Well, I hear you. How you feeling now? Uh, I feel a lot better. I feel, you know, probably 80% of what I should feel, but it may be closer to 81 and a three quarters, you know. I hear you. All right, man, let me look ahead at that 1940. Hey, 1940, White Dog, wave it ahead. All right, done, White Dog. Hey, not bad, man. Just get out here. Damn, boy. I wasn't going to say you'd have to marry it because you didn't say you loved it. You just said it talked real good, so I couldn't get you that time. Yeah, I know. I called it that time, but I didn't say it because I do all that. I'm going to get me this time. Ha ha ha. Hey, see if you can get that 987 there, uh, crazy man, and all y'all fellas. He's out there. What about night, right? Yeah, night, right? Oh, you out there, you're still chasing the rabbit.
something and I ain't got one more to go. I'm gonna have to go up to the radio shack tomorrow and get one. Put on your old. I don't get zip zap and knock me off my boot. I don't know what I've been doing up for and found around here. All right, go ahead and tell us. Go to our 21 what kind of radio you got there. No. You call me 116. The bullfire is too dark. Crazy man. We're off the car park road. We're back out. Yeah, Roger on that there. <clears throat> yeah, I'm waiting to get my antenna up higher. But um, I got you in there, but uh, I don't know if you... I, I'm scared to turn the volume up because this crazy man will blow me out of here. And uh, But I got you in there. I appreciate you coming back there. All right there, 987. I'm going to stand by a minute and uh, I'll be, get back with you. 21, standing by. Crazy man. He's dumb. He's Crazy man. Why? That uh, 987 was trying to holler at that uh, 1940. Okay, go ahead and I'm sorry about that. I got a bunch of mouth from right there. Way back out. Go ahead. Cowboy, he was uh, in there earlier. What'd you do to him there, uh, white dog? Got me. He got his beams up, he said, six foot up off the ground. I don't know, he <clears throat> gonna put it up 40 feet maybe this weekend, I, I, I don't know, he just got him six foot up off the ground. Market uh, is it this weekend, crazy man? Uh, not the flea market, but the yard sale. 
Why don't? What guy said you talking? Crazy man uh, said something about CB radio stuff and all. Yard sale in Goose Creek. Big yard sale. I just heard about it. Hey, Crazy, where is it? Oh, he must be going to Channel 28 to get Cowboy. man can red devil holler at uh, a cowboy on the radio for a minute I mean on the phone hello He's waving a hand. Well, Night Ranger missed out on the old radio night. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe he had to go out of town or who knows. A black snake might have got him. There you are. I, I didn't know. I wanted to get you in there before I shut it down. I hear you, so you got your set of beams up over there, but you're not on them right now. And you're going to try to get it up in the air this weekend, you say? Yes, sir. We're going to try to have them 40 foot up in the air this weekend there for them. You're just going to turn it by hand for right now? No, sir. I got the loader already ready. Then put on the pipe. All right. That's nice. That's good there. That remote control now. Yeah, I got it. I can set it like if I don't want to point it towards the slope up out of there. Just go back to his setting or whatever his number is and put his number in, one, two, or three, or whatever, and shoot and then point right to it. Great, great.
ten four on the inch and a half pipe about two foot long. You had a pretty rotor, you know? Two inch and a half, ten four. Sleeves. Okay, keep them tight. Okay. Now, you you sure you're not talking about inch and a quarter now? No, sir. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. Wow, that's a big one for that kind of rotor. That's a big pipe for that kind of rotor. But anyway, I guess it. That's what it takes. That big a that big a aluminum pipe, I don't know. Uh, I know you know used to could get it uh, up to about one inch, stuff like that, uh, aluminum pipe at the hardware store. I, I really I really couldn't tell you. Uh, they ain't ain't I ain't no. Why don't you Why don't you get your piece of conduit there uh, from Lowe's or Home Depot? Yeah, only two foot long. Shit, that ain't gonna go anywhere. Uh, that aluminum pipe will bend for that well. Yeah, that's what I might do. Go to Lowe's tomorrow and give me a piece of that there, okay? Yeah, I'd check at Home Depot too. Uh, it might be a little different over there. It might be might, might be able to find something a little bit better over there. I, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's going to be 10 foot long, so you'll have plenty left over. Oh, yeah. I have enough left over to set up another set of beans and uh, just them out there on the end of the yard, there, Roger. Ben Roger. <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, I only got a six foot up in the air right now. Uh, uh, they do pretty good, man. Uh, I can't complain. 10 foot long. Did you get to keep the part they cut off? No, I didn't want that thing. Oh. Was it black? Yeah, the tip was black. Dang. It was getting ready to get gangrene after they had to cut it off. That's 602 or something like that down in, uh, uh, somewhere down in uh, South America. <clears throat> He had a video on YouTube there with a split like that. That thing looked like a dried up, burned up thing on the end. They cut it off. Yeah, man. It was a good freaking sight. Well, they devil from the big toe on my, uh, my right foot. No, the next toe over. Um, the next toe over is the one that got real bad. And uh, I'm telling you, it devil from that thing. And that thing, oh my God, it stunk. Oh my God. 
they stunk when they cut it off or before they cut it off? It stunk before they cut it off. It was stinking. Dang, it's rotting away. Yeah, you, you could smell it then you walk in the room. Damn boy. Why didn't you take it like put it in some water? Alright there, hey, cowboy, hope you get doing better, and I'm going to uh, get off this uh, video, so uh, enjoy it, y'all uh, hanging in there with me, man, and uh, <clears throat> we'll get back with you, check it out on YouTube, Dirty Diaper 21, that's me, I'm back out. Hey, Cam, that's the Dirty Diaper 21, I got a good point, sir, we in the bill.